You're all very welcome. My name is John Colgan, the CEO of Solgari. I uh, want to welcome everyone to Solgari for Teams and how Solgari ensures that everyone relevant to customer engagement can more effectively work with full function and full data from within Teams rather than screen hopping. Customer service has become central to winning and retaining business and everyone in the company who has contact with customers and prospects, not just support and sales agents, are vital to impacting how customers and prospects perceive our business. Customers vote with their feet and make decisions on where to do business based more and more on how the business interacts with them. How much knowledge, relevance, how capable and competent the business individual is on them and their business requirements. Customers want choice of communication channels, whether it be voice, SMS, chat, or the multiple social media, social channels, with the ease of moving between the channels as well. They also expect the business they're dealing with to have instant access to all the most up-to-date, accurate and relevant customer history, rather than disjointed experiences. We're all too used to today where customer service is hampered by screen hopping between different sources of data, channels and functionality, making life very difficult for the agent and unsatisfactory for the customer. So whether your customer service is delivered by dedicated contact center agents or different resources from across the business, in the case of experts who are needed or where there's not a dedicated contact center per se, it's vital that everyone has full function, all channels relevant, and full real-time data at their fingertips. So Gary for Teams allows customers and partners to benefit from a number of very significant trends in the market. The demand increase, dramatic, sorry, the dramatic increase in demand for hybrid working and increased collaboration driving exponential growth in the use of Teams, the significant benefits of AI to provide increased security and productivity, and the speed to value of SaaS solutions that are deployed instantly and very easy for customers to configure and meet their business needs. So Gary for Teams provides organizations with a full integrated all channel communications experience, automated self-service options to ensure the customer gets to the answers they need to fast, and all of the AI enabled contact center functionality enjoyed by the largest enterprises available instantly out of the Azure cloud anywhere in the world, scaling from an SMB to the world's largest enterprises. I'll hand you over to Ben to give you a glimpse of some aspects of Sagari for Teams that creates an epicenter for customer service excellence through a rapidly set up and easy to manage customer service environment so that you can see how all channels and full agent, supervisor, KPI dashboards, etc., are all available within Teams to companies of size range from 10 to 10,000. Thank you, John. Hi, hello, everyone. My name is Ben Banks. I'm the head of product at Solgari. And I'm going to actually just now introduce you to Solgari from Microsoft Teams. So if I just jump over here on my screen. And what everyone should be able to see on the screen very briefly, quickly, is firstly, just to give you a quick overview. So Solgari for Teams, like John mentioned, is a full omni-channel communication suite with inside of Teams, allowing you to either handle inbound customer service inquiries, handle service outreach. So if you're talking from a sales perspective and you have opportunities, you can reach out to your customers from whatever data source you provide, you choose. So for example, that could be a data, it could be providing data from a CRM like Dynamics 365 or from Salesforce, or could even be providing data for somewhere like Office 365 or a database of your choice that you would like to connect to this. Now, from the top down, you can see here, this is your phone to connect with your customers, but we also have taken the omnichannel experience where you handle sessions per communication or conversation with your customer. What that basically means is an agent can handle more than one conversation at one time, making them more efficient, depending on the capacity they have or they can handle. So in this scenario, we just talked, John just showed a screen about the different kind of personas that we, we can actually benefit or cater to. The first one I really want to talk about is the contact center agent. Now, in this in scenario, I want to talk about the customer first. And the customer should always have a choice, like John said, to communicate via any channel they prefer. So in this scenario, I've got an, a customer, James Page, waiting to speak uh, to an agent again after they had a conversation recently about their bill. 
Now, in this scenario, the customer is struggling to pay their actual existing bill. So the customer decided to use WhatsApp for business and they sent a message through. And what we do at this point is give them an option where they want to go. Or we could even ask questions and get queries about their specific um, case or inquiry or what they might be actually messaging about. So in this instance, James is going to select option two and he would like to speak to a customer service station. Now, whether I'm in Teams, I could be anywhere in Teams right now. Um, but once the notification comes through, I can actually see immediately that I have a new message from James Page by WhatsApp for Business. Now, if I just min make this a bit bigger, what you can then see here is the ability for me to then respond in kind with James um, in real time. So, hi, James Ben here. Nice friendly message. I could just send that outbound. Now messages are popping up. And again, we can have a conversation back and forth. And this is just asking, can I get help with my bill? Okay, obviously the customer, we're gonna be very happy to do that. In this scenario, what we wanna do is we want to uh, actually change this from WhatsApp to a voice call. Cause I'm probably as a customer service agent gonna be able to handle the call um, and be able to fix his billing issue through a voice call, okay? So in this instance, I'm gonna complete this conversation. Let me call you. No problem. So James is happy to take, receive a phone call from the agent, like so. And you can see that com completed. Now, we don't, you know, to finish, we need to finish off this conversation first. So what we do is we make sure that we're very, we inform the customer that that conversation has ended, as you can see. And then from here, the final part is just to complete this from my list. So as the inbox is live sessions of communication, and again, you can handle multiple conversations at one time, that means that you have to close these off your list. And once you close them off your list, you'll get more coming onto your list, depending on how busy your um, inbound flows of communication are from WhatsApp or from voice calls, for example. So I'm just gonna close the conversation down and you can see that's removed off the list. So that's the first instance, the customer's got messaged in by WhatsApp. Now I'm going to message the call, call the customer back. Um, and before I do that, I'm just gonna go over here. Now there might be a little bit of delay before I make this click to call, just cause we're on, a, on an event session here. So bear with us if there is a little bit of background noise. When I click to call very simply on the list here, what's happening? And um, what's happening now is we reach, we're just dialing out to James. And if I just make this screen over here, you'll see the call coming in. And that's a call connected. Okay, and that's the background noise over. And the good thing is what we do, even if it's an outbound call, the inbox is not just for inbound reach. It's also for about if you're having an activity at the time with a com or, or a call, for example, a conversation. So when I click into this session, voice session, you can then see that I have options. Now, these options are, this is information that we're showing the agent in Teams, remember. But where are we gathering this information from? So it could be from a CRM, it could be from Dynamics, for example, in this instance, or it might be Salesforce or another CRM that you, that you would like to connect to our application inside of Teams. But the nice thing is you can make notes, like so. You can save that briefly, you can do anything, you can do other tasks if you need to. So if this was related to me calling James, I've just fixed his case or his problem with his billing issue, um, Normally what we do with Solgari is we just transfer that across to a payment gateway. So there's no human involved. So it's fully PCI DSS compliant. But I also might want to schedule another call. So I'll do a follow-up task. Let's say it's a call back for next week. So I'll do a call back. I'm going to speak, okay? Nice and simple. And then what I can do here is just quickly go across. Let's say it's for the 4th of June and it's for 312. Nice and simple, okay? Just move that out of the way so you can see what we're doing, what we're doing here. And you've also got an end time if you need to. And what this does within the CRM that this is connected to, it could be, again, it could be Salesforce or Dynamics or another CRM, but it sets a follow-up task in the follow-up calendar. So whether you're in a group in the CRM um, of agents that are having reminders to tell them to call back agents, that will happen in the CRM, but it will also happen in here in Teams, which is the nice thing, okay? This is also good for someone that is just needing to, hasn't got a CRM at all. So you're just using Teams as your, your business communications for internal communications, but you can also use it for your external communications to your customers and we'll hold the data for you. And as you can see here, if I just click save, that will set a schedule follow-up task. And the final part is if I did have access, a license for, for example, Dynamics 365 or the CRM that this is connected to, all of that data is then getting stored in one sole single place, like John mentioned. 
So that's the follow-up task I just created. These and these are phone calls that I had with James earlier. But you might also have um, WhatsApp conversations in here or your SMS conversations, whatever it might be, with full transcriptions against. So that's kind of covered off the first uh, first persona. OK, and the final part here is the customer is happy. Hang up the call. And I'll just make this a bit bigger. Because Solgari is the formal contact center, we're providing all of the IVRs, but also things like wrap up time. Um, you know, and SLA times and things like that. And as you can see, I still have after action um, options once the call's complete if I didn't get a chance to do them on call. Now that I close this channel down, that's complete, it's off my list. So normally what we would do is give each uh, agent the ability to handle one call, but then multiple uh, conversational channels at the same time, like WhatsApp or Facebook, or if it's anyone that's on um, from APAC on the call, line or WeChat. Okay, and with as many more we can add, add here as well. We can provide email as well and things like that. Cool. So the second scenario I wanted to talk about is um, more of outbound reach. So you might have your sales team. If we just bring that persona up again, the second one was sales, product specialists. Think about it, it could be your account management teams, um, your finance teams as well, whether they're back office staff or in the, or connected to CRM. It's all driven from inside a team, so it's nice and simple. So in this use case. Instead of making a click to call, I could send an email to James, but I've decided in this one, I'm going to send a text. And this is me sending a text to James because we've been texting back and forth about a specific opportunity in sales for quite some time now. And we're getting to a real good, good situation where the, you know, we're going to close the deal. So if I just bring myself back to the mobile again, let's just close that down. And you'll see the messages come through in a second. And we speak. Okay, nice and simple. And again, very, very quick, we send that straight across. The message has already been received in here, and I can then respond in kind. Yes, of course. Now, again, you could be switching between channels. That's the whole point with Solgari is we're, we're all channel communications platform for both inbound and outbound. So you should have options, not just from an inbound perspective, from a customer service team to handle the inquiries, but you should also be able to do that from an outbound perspective. So my, I might be having an SMS conversation right now, which could switch to a call, could switch to an email, whatever you might prefer. But that's what we're giving the agent the ability to do is choose those channels as well as the customer choosing the channels. So conversation is there. I'm just replying kind. Sorry, I have to go back to my list. There you go. And you can see we have we've had the response as well. And um, this could obviously go back and forth uh, for a long time as well. But all of that information again, once I've ended that conversation, we'll let the customer know. Like you say on the screen. And then you can then log that interaction. And what I mean by logging that interaction is once I close this off my inbox list, which is my live sessions for all communication, I can then switch over to my history. And the good thing about, like I said earlier, is I need to, might need to see previous interactions that I've had with James about that specific product or uh, that they might be selling or a specific um, product that we might be managing together. Okay. And you can see here, I've got a filtering system from time and date or oldest, most recent um, kind of inquiries that I might want to look back on, or I can filter by channels, okay? Um, here, the time um, and other people as well inside my um, other contacts. And it gives me kind of the, trans the full transcription with timestamps against it. And remember, these can be stored against your CRM as well, against your contacts, accounts, and leads. So the interactions are there. So we've talked, covered the first two scenarios or personas, I should say, and you see how simple and easy it is to be able to communicate with your customers, both outbound, but also for your customers to choose the channel and communicate with you inbound as well. OK, the final part to this is your the, this is the final persona is your it's your supervisors and your managers in the business. So how do they manage all of those channels of communication at one time? You know, the call flows when people dial into a, an IVR and either speak to a um, an AI driven bot or they might be speaking to an actual real agent. How do we do, how do we control that? So what Solgari brings out with teams is the Solgari hub. Now the Solgari hub is the hub to all of your configurations, your administration. We, we are heavily into skills based routing. So wherever a customer comes via voice, WhatsApp for business, Facebook, or even an SMS, it doesn't really matter. We first we'll get, we're identifying the skills required to then deliver that customer to your agents um, in the fastest possible way. Okay, so you get that first call response. And you can see with inside the hub, there's many different features and functionalities like your skills-based rules to set against per agent. So for me, I'm a customer service agent, but I can also handle a specific amount of product lit sets with inside the customer service. There's lots of different use cases for that as well. 
Um, it's also where you sign your inbound rules for your voice calls. For, so if you have any phone numbers on your website, when someone calls that, where does that phone call go? Where, how does that customer get to your agent in Microsoft Teams? This is also where we archive a lot of, of, of the conversation. So whether it's a transcription from a conversational channel like an SMS or WhatsApp, we keep those all stored safely or securely inside the hub. And um, so depending on the rights of the, the supervisor can access that and then look back to those trans and transcriptions. And then also we have the audio files as well. So we have all the call recordings that we're holding for you. Um, and basically here's where you can play them back and get as much information on the call from a compliance perspective. And finally, there's another part that we find is very important with supervisors um, and managers that want to keep an eye on their teams. So you'll first, you'll want to look at historical reports. You want to look back at, you know, how many calls have been done in a specific month or time or even a year. So for this example, you can see there's lots of different types of like answered calls or abandoned call rates that we look at. We look at things like the age of presence and what, you know, the handling time when they're online, when they're offline and um, all the contact center kind of functions that you expect. And then you've got things like your first call response reports and your SLA reporting to make sure that you're adhering to the SLAs you set with your customers. Now, the good thing about the, this report, I'm just gonna just give an example of one, very simple to, 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 to use. You can choose back and go back as far as you want with regards to our date ranges. I'm just gonna group this by month. And I actually wanna look at just all the calls that have been done by the specific department. And the nice thing is I get really good in data and information, which you can keep inside of here. You can export it to an Excel or to a specific file format of your choice, or you might want to use Solgary's API connected to Power BI to get all of that data into a nice clean dashboard across all the other reports you might have as well. So that's just it from a more of a historical report, reporting perspective. The other reporting I wanted to talk about is the live reporting as well. Okay, so we also do loads of different types of reports, uh, uh, live warboards that show you queues in action or all queues at one time. And that's all your agents and what they're doing inside of Teams, for example. So if there is loads of outbound calls, loads of inbound calls happening at one time, you're going to see all of that interaction in here. So I'm just going to give an example within here with the time we have of a specific queue where that customer that WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp in, uh, WhatsApp in, they actually made a call in as well earlier. Okay. And I have a queue specifically for errors with contactless payments. And you can see in here, I've got my two agents in here. I can see they're both available. And I can also see in live if anything, any kind of interactions are happening live at the time, okay? And this is really good because it just shows you basically if uh, either an agent's on a call um, or if they're not on, on a live call, for example, okay? And we also then rack up things like your handle time, any missed interactions you might have had. This is both voice, by the way, or conversational channels. And also you'll see the total durations or average durations per channel as well, okay? So this is a nice, these are really good. These are just showing some, some um, available status or unavailable right now. But the good thing is we can look at loads of different statuses depending on what you're doing. So if your agent is having a WhatsApp conversation, they'll be chatting. If they're having an SMS conversation, outbound for example, they'll be texting, okay? So there's loads of different things we can look at in here. And this can be kind of customized as well. And you can see Dan, one of my agents here is actually um, really busy at the moment and he's been in and out all day and that's kind of why his princess is changing. And the nice thing, but because this is in the cloud as well, it allows just to have that agent dashboard there for you as a manager. And you can look at either one, one of those wall boards or you might want to look at several at one time. And that's what we provide. Thanks for everyone for listening from my side. I'm going to pass you over to Ed now to finish off. Thanks very much, Ben. Um, so hello, everybody. My name is Ed Grant. I'm CFO at Solgari. I'm just going to run through briefly where Solgari for Teams is available from. So it's listed on Microsoft Marketplace, both on the Azure and the App Source Marketplace. It's a preferred solution of Microsoft, and it'll be actually certified as contact center for Teams in the next couple of weeks. It's also transactable, which means as a customer or as a cloud service provider, as a partner, uh, you can buy it directly from from the marketplace, which is a huge benefit. So um, on top of that, it's also a native app inside Teams. This is very important because everything that Ben just showed you there can be delivered really rapidly with speed to value. So it can be stood up within days. So if you're a Teams user and you want to use those kind of persona yeah. journeys that Ben went through, this can be stood up very, very rapidly. Then the billing is simply done through your existing Microsoft billing. So you buy through Marketplace, it can be uh, as part of your Azure billing to date as a direct customer, 
or if you use a partner, a cloud service provider, you can buy through the CSP. So it's, it's a very seamless experience. If you're a direct customer uh, and you're buying through the marketplace and you have a Mac agreement with Microsoft, which is uh, Microsoft Azure Commitment Consumption Agreement, anything you do with any purchase you make on Sugari for Teams would count against that. So you can deprecate your Mac. Again, that's a very important commercial aspect to many customers. The solution starts at $125 per user per month. That includes all the channels. So in addition to what Ben showed you there, we have uh, WeChat, for example, for customers selling to China. We have Line, we have Facebook Messenger. Uh, really, we can add channels very rapidly as well. So all the channels, all the contact center functionality, so inbound automatic contact distribution, all channel skills based routing, outbound sales campaigns, all that functionality, all the integrated contact center functionality is included. Also have uh, supports or so premium supports included and also set up. So it's a very simple licensing model. It starts there as a as a public offer. If you as a customer have different personas, let's say back office or or product specialists that may, for example, only need one or two channels or some specific functionality. We can also make private offers available, also based on volume, discounts, et cetera. So get in touch with sales <coughs> if you want, want to expose some private offers. And again, we're very flexible what can be available within the solution. Also worth noting for uh, cloud uh, service providers, so CSP's partners, um, it's also available through Marketplace. Um, our CSP partners can meet the demand for for what Ben just said out there, customer service within 270 million monthly active Teams users. Uh, our CSPs earn margin on the software revenue, so on Sagari for Teams, and they increase their own operator connect revenue. Very importantly, because the solution stands up so rapidly, again, within days, not months or, or longer, stands up within days, so it's short as a deal cycle, it gets value into customers very rapidly, drives more monthly active users on Teams, and it's, again, it's available as a private offer to our partners on the marketplace, again, making it very, very seamless to buy it. So in summary, um, these are the key components as to why the solution really is um, um, making rapid headway through our customers and partners worldwide. So offer all your customers uh, any channel of communication as Ben showed, and I mentioned the other channels are also available today. It, it then provides a single view of all the, all the conversations, whether it's a contact center user or a product specialist or a back office user. You have a single view of all the customer conversations with that particular customer, as Ben showed. It transforms first contact resolution because of those exact points. It's a frictionless buying experience through marketplace. So again, it's buying through Microsoft. Add to your existing Microsoft licensing or your partner licensing. It's really, really powerful, very simple to procure it. And then finally, and really crucially, it's connect and go. This is actually delivering the promise of the cloud. It's not a long project. It stands up very rapidly inside your Teams environment with Hub available as the configuration tool as Ben showed. So some very, very compelling reasons why the product is, is producing some great customer outcomes. And finally, just to contact us, uh, John was on the call, our CEO, uh, Ben's head of product, myself, CFO. You see our contact de details here. You know, please get in touch if you'd like to discuss anything that you saw in the in the session. Uh, if you'd like to talk to the private offers, the same thing there, please. Um, you can get you can see the application today on on marketplace, so the Azure marketplace and the App Source marketplace. I understand that this presentation will go out post the meeting, so you can you can click on these and and go to it directly or come to us directly. So thank you very much for everybody for joining. I know we're a little bit over time, so I'm going to leave it there and uh, wish everybody a good day.